Welcome to Epicor Advanced Projects. In this short recording, what we're going to do is introduce the concept of budget spread within APM. Now, for organizations who used standard projects, there was often a challenge with organizations who had phases that ran over multiple periods. For example, if they had a phase that would be a year long because it included things like installation or engineering, a lot of times there's a big cost associated with that, but there's no forecasting regarding cash flow or when that expenditure is actually going to hit their books. The concept of budget spread is twofold. One, it allows us to look at phases and budget by financial period so that we can start to forecast when that capital is going to be expended and really start to get cash flow forecasting. The second thing that we can do is with the introduction of APM's dynamic cost codes, the ability to say, you know what, I want to look at tubed steel or I want to look at electrical components or rubberized components. What we can do is we can also look at how that expenditure is going to hit our project over time. If our project is a year long, we might, you know, which includes multiple units, we might know that we're going to have that expenditure of cost codes hit our project at different times. So we can actually look at budget spread by cost code over the duration of the period, uh, or sorry, of the project. Let, let me give you an example of what I'm talking about. The first one is, of course, phase. So in this example, what we're looking at is the, the, the second phase design mechanical of this project, which is a big budget of $17,386. But what we want to do is we want to know when are we going to see the majority of this cost, knowing that it's going to be spread out almost over uh, a full year. What this does is this allows us to import the budget so that we can see, you know, in February, in February, we're going to have a pretty big spike in the overall cost or capital outlay for this project. However, all other months are going to be pretty even across the board. So that's looking at your budget by phase spread out across multiple financial periods. Now, we, like I said, we can do the same concept by cost code. So for example, if I had a cost code called steel tubing, I might want to look at that in this example, the cost is exactly the same. I might want to say, well, you know, across all my phases, when am I going to spend the most on steel tubing, right? And with this information, and, and maybe this is engineering, maybe this is any cost code, I can see that across my project, across all my phases, I can see that budget spread as well. So let's go ahead and jump into the software now and take a look at what that example would look like. You'll notice I'm on the APM project entry screen. What do I want to do? I want to get into my phase. I want to look at my phase analysis. And here's my summary. Now, as you can see here, I have a total budget of $6,500. There's no reserve budget. And what I did is I can see that in the month of May, the month of June, I've split that out. So 26% is going to hit in May. 73% of that budget is going to hit in June giving me my total of 6,500. Now, as you can see here, I have my actuals, which will roll up and update my budget versus forecast, which will update my variance as this project matures. So that's an example. Now, you can see that's for electrical. As I click mechanical, that's going to update. It's going to give me, oh, let's go back to here. It's going to give me different numbers, different budgets, and you can see here I have a reserve allocated in this mechanical. Now, again, what I can do is if I go down to the supply installation of materials, this is where I can see phase analysis, budget spread. I could give my cost codes, right? So, again, the exact same concept, except if I want to look at fabrication or metals or subcontracting, I can look at that information across the duration of my project as well. Same concept. Hopefully you found this helpful. If you would like to see a demonstration, be sure to reach out to your account manager and they will put you in contact with a solutions engineer. Thank you.